I was given the complicated task of talking about two lymphomas in 15 minutes uh, in a speed update. Uh, but it's really not that uh, bad because uh, there are very exciting data. So in mantle cell lymphoma, um, of course, we have a, a span of different uh, variations of the mantle cell lymphoma. And we have uh, also the span between patients who can go on to transplant um, now with the current standard of care in first line to patients who only receive uh, supportive treatment of, um, in, for their lymphoma. And uh, the CARS will uh, certainly change our world. Uh, there is the Brexus cell already approved and uh, the, the data are really exciting with extremely high response rates and uh, very good, uh, more than 50% progression-free survival and, and good long-term survival. Uh, the, the question uh, that's pertinent now is really, uh, can we use CAR T cells in first line as a consolidation treatment, uh, substituting for autologous stem cell transplant? And what's the role in, let's say, elderly, uh, more frail patients? And uh, then the, the treatment landscape is complicated because other agents like bispecific antibodies are moving into the field. And uh, currently we don't really know uh, if, uh, if they can substitute for CARS or, uh, which is uh, my favorite uh, approach, uh, can we combine, for instance, these novel agents together with CARS. So um, I think uh, very exciting data for the mantle cell lymphoma. Uh, for the follicular lymphoma, it's kind of similar. Uh, we have two approved uh, products uh, from uh, the SUMA5 and the LARA trials. And both of them are extremely effective. Um, we have some uh, real world experience also for that uh, on that subject, uh, which shows and confirms uh, their activity. Um, but again, they are effective in all subgroups. Uh, the, the problematic group there is the uh, progression of disease within 24 months, POD 24 group. They are effective there, uh, but we could do a little better. So again, it's the question, uh, what is the role of the bispecifics which are moving into the, the treatment landscape and can we combine them and can uh, the uh, CAR T cells substitute for autologous stem cell transplant in first relapse. Uh, and there is even a trial that compares that in a randomized fashion.